playing with Mikey. Finally, really we get to see tonight. somebody. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's... Uh... He's so much older now. Well, you know. Yeah. Aww. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on. Let's see what I monsters and trickery you have planned okay. for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay. Where were we? Oh, man. At least we get to see somebody. <laughs> this whole game, we've just been by ourselves. Haven't gotten much use out of the screen in our virtual campaign. But I like having it around. This thing grows more every session. My calm sci professor called that scope creep. The courageous and heroic warrior. Elamon. I believe Elamon was about to enter the laboratory's engine room. Sounds right. Oh, I'm glad they get to play together. First half. I had no idea. I guess I, I wasn't really thinking about it. I didn't know. I didn't know. We playing or not? Shh, Wells is coming. Penis! <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. I miss Chloe. My favorite. Everything okay? What's in the useless box? Oh wait, do we answer? Um, just reminisce. Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. <laughs> Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And now? Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's say anger, cause... Just angry. Like there's a piece inside of me that wants to scream until I run out of breath. Mostly I'm angry at myself. Why do I deserve to be here when all of them don't? You Chloe's ever here, right? Talk to Chloe? No, I hear she's off the radar like me. Uh, the two wandering weirdos. Chloe! Look, Steph. What you're feeling... Where's Chloe? I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. Fuck! Water seeping in. Roll for perception. This storm is is biblical. Why hasn't Drew called back yet? No, Drew. Anything from your mom? I was just wondering. Where She'll be fine. If his My house was is okay. safe. You know what isn't though? Your position. That's you're surrounded by me. enchanted skeletons, and your HP is fucked. Now roll. Fuck. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah. No. I don't know. How do you deal with the thoughts that won't go away? What do you mean? 
you oh, know. Oh, oh, ah, eek. I didn't see. Drew. I was playing with the box. At the end? Oh, no. Oh, like picturing my brother being crushed to death by cinder blocks. No. Wondering if it hurt, if he had any last thoughts. Oh. I guess That's I just accept bad. them now. It's like a song that gets stuck in your head. It's there whether you like it or not, so... That's awful. Might as well sing along. That's awful. I've watched my mom die a thousand times in my mind, running into the basement, grabbing her rosary beads, screaming in fear. It's always a little different each time. The differences are the fucking worst. Mm -hmm. But maybe talking about it helps. Yeah. Maybe. I didn't see those options. You what know we don't have option? to keep playing. Let's try. Mm. So Drew died and her mom died. Oh my gosh. I wonder what happened. Where so are my notes? If we <sighs> it's terrible. So I guess if, if we chose not to um if we chose to save Arcadia, then I guess this conversation is a lot different between them, uh -huh. I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know, next week is the, well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking, why don't you come? It'll be, well, you know, it'll be fucking horrible, but maybe a little less horrible if we're both there. Yeah, that sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you. Again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. But you didn't. Why? That's how friends are boys. What do you think? Oh. Oh. Not broken. Oh. I don't like either of these answers. Maybe you just can't let go of high school. I'm your human time capsule back to the good old days. I know you don't believe that. It's kind of a sad thing to say. It's kind of Fuck. a little bit cruel. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... Mm. I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. Mm -hmm. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you that makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't, but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. Ah, and I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a wandering weirdo is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. Promising. I never thought of it that way. Hey. That's why I'm here. Train. I don't deserve you as a best friend. 
But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. Now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. He is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky. <laughs> that was sad. So we never got to meet um, Steph's parents at all in the previous game, but we did get to meet Drew. So that's really sad, because he was a very protective brother over Mikey. And then, there was that mysterious thing where Mikey was sick, because okay. we found that thing and we never figured out- Okay, we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Yeah, yeah. Both of which I respect. I gotta say, though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly, mm -hmm. I might do this every year. <laughs> hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, Yay. it's Gabe. Yay. It's everyone's favorite bartender. Made any resolutions? So, what are your resolutions and how many have you already broken? Yeah, uh, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Interesting. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's someone in my family <gasps> who might be totally alone right now. Oh, I've been thinking Alex. of reaching out to her. Yes. The thing is, Reach it's out. been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Maybe you weren't ready. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped that. either of you. No, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask, what's gonna happen if I contact her? And letting the entire what's town know. What's she gonna know? say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, shh. don't ruin it. Okay, give me a second. Let's see what the dice say. Possibilities are good. Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? Too bad it wasn't a nat 20, huh? It what would, would be scared. super good for Gabe? Hmm. Huh. What does a sense of purpose mean? Let's see what she has to say about that. I want to know what she'll say about that. The day you call her, you're a ball of nerves. You get the number wrong four times. And when she finally picks up and says, hello. Um, <laughs> you sell her insurance. <laughs> you're so terrified you pretend to be Geico. What? She blocks your number. You have to call back on a landline. No! <laughs> but hearing her voice changed everything. Uh -huh. Suddenly, the most important thing in the world is making sure she's okay. Now you're on a mission, and your own fears don't matter anymore. You're too busy sending her jokes and making time to hear about the worst part of her day. You're still afraid you'll screw things up. And you do. A lot. 
but underneath, there's a sense of security. Because now you're driven by a purpose that will always steer you back to her. Huh. No matter what happens. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll see you. Oh, Gabe. Oh, I'm so Read sad ads, about play it. songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. Hey, old friend. <laughs> Emphasis on old. Oh, yeah. KRCT has gone pro, baby. Not that many listeners lately. I, well, it hardly needed to be said. So she hardly said it. Wish you Happy New Year, though it hardly needs to be said. Acknowledging your hard work, um, a considerable contribution. Aww. It's an Last honor chance. to be chosen as Olivia's elder gay. Man, last show of 2018. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking crazy year. These are the real MVPs tonight. You survived another rotation around the sun. Congrats. Bubble. What a year, huh? Oh, we forgot to check our phone at the end yesterday. Come on, callers. Or don't. Wah, wah. A peaceful herd of Splatosaurus. I've been speaking into that mic for almost a year. And I'm still not tired of it. It is New Year's Eve, Kind Haven listeners, and that means partying, smooching at midnight, and resolutions. Call in with your New Year's resolution, and Haven's best and only radio psychic will tell you how it goes. Did you know that 80% of New Year's resolutions fail? Like my resolution to stop making up bogus statistics? <laughs> All this talk of New Year's resolutions has made me realize I actually don't have one yet. Newton's cradle, that's we'll work on that called. together, kind Haven listeners. Ready to roll? My inner Tyler Durden hates this part of the job. 
We didn't but my inner Billy Mays loves it. We only heard about the kitty and saw evidence of Valkyrie, but we didn't actually get to see the cat this game. We haven't yet, at least. 2019. Oh god, winter's coming! <laughs> New Year's party. Um, oh, this makes me sad. Let's see. Overstock on holiday stuff. Holidays food, uh, full size turkey, smoked ham, and fresh cranberry sauce. Let's do some ad reads. Let's do for stamps. Groceries. Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're gonna survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry, Spamps Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with... Um, favorite foods. Sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty size candy cane, but this time without the excuse. And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one-stop shop for... Um, get fit foods. Uh, Land foods. I don't know. Why would you say bland foods? Let's say bland foods. What is that? Healthy foods that you know you should be eating, but don't because they taste like cardboard. Happy New Year from Spamps. <laughs> I don't know if All I right, like Gabe. that. What did you leave out there for me? Oh, he left us something? Should we do? Let's do all our ad reads first. Hey, we've got a returning sponsor today, Grimley's Auto Repair, serving Haven Springs. Oh, it Springs. was Auto Repair. We guessed correctly, right? Um, Since 2005, before some of my listeners were even born. And if you're one of them, remember, only cool kids stay up late and listen to local radio. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So, if you... Um... <laughs> hit a reindeer, that's terrible. Hit a firework? What does that mean? Get your mirror blasted off by a runaway New Year's firework tonight? Yikes. They are wide awake and ready to help. Again, it's that's Grimley's sad. Auto Repair. Aww. Your best and greasiest neighbors. Uh, let's go, let's go back out, hold on, let's go out and uh, see what Gabe has for us and then what we can come back, I think, and do the ad read. Because then I think the only other thing is the one phone call, right? What could fit under the front door? Maybe concert tickets? Cat toy? Valkyrie better be grateful. This cost me three whole dollars. Yikes. <laughs> What's that one thing in your house <laughs> that you spent so much money on? <laughs> Scratching. Valkyrie books. only uses this when I'm not looking. Oh, I can't. Which doesn't wait hurt my feelings for whatsoever. His little, for his little cat scratching bed to arrive. It's gonna be like a cat tower, but it's not gonna be as tall as his cat tree. That way he can sit at, like, petting height, and he'll be right here with us. Nothing quite like being artistically shown up by a ten-year-old to start your year off right. Guess I could hang out here and ask myself if I'm going to the office party tonight. I don't know, we drew a duck. <laughs> the result of wine night with Charlotte, Aww. if memory serves. Oh, dang. I'm gonna have to put another t-shirt order in. Guess I finally clicked with the customer base. Gabe ran into a pole doing bike tricks to make me laugh. Mission accomplished. Whoops. Haven't served Valkyrie her New Year's Eve treat yet. Yikes. 
That is a travesty and a crime. What's New Year's for if not stuffing your face with junk food? Aww. I really hope Violet's doing okay. Oh yeah, we forgot to look at our phone again, to, at the text messages. That's too bad. Gotta give Valkyrie her New Year's treat. Salmon! Aww. Wonderful, Captain Salmon. Only the best smoked salmon for my little... Smoke salmon. ...terror. Well, KRCT has officially got a new logo by yours truly. <laughs> Music that you love around the clock, very little BS. Gotta keep the new hires in check. All potential if additions we ever to get new hires. Must be submitted to staff for approval, subject to relative uh, adopeness in comparison to the existent stickers. People here wear t-shirts in the winter and brag about not being cold, but those of us who've survived Seattle's death drizzle know better than to tempt the gods. Shall we work on our song? Hold on one second. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm gonna turn this off. When did Gabe have time to sneak something in here? Oh my god. <laughs> so I got up and I knocked over Long Cat's dish of food. Uh, so <laughs> had to sweep up the food. Uh, it's expensive as hell because it's that uh, medicine food. But because I was trying to feed him earlier, well, when he came out, I was so excited. I was like offering him his dish lovingly. And then I left it there and then I stepped on the stupid thing because I'm an idiot. That's okay. Um, yeah, it's, I cleaned it up, it's fine. I did a bunch of work on my song. I think it's finally finished. Nice, let's listen. Good job, Steph. I didn't know that Steph had that tragic story with her mom and Mikey. Drew. Yes, yeah, so I, I'm still wondering what is. Oh, is it this triumphant breakdown? Oh, we can't hear it because I turned the music down so that we wouldn't get copyright. But this 
is an original song, right? So we wouldn't get copyright for this. Let's let's turn the music up, right? And then we'll turn it back down so we don't get copy striked. Let's see, continue. There we go. Hopefully this is this is original, right? It's not gonna be copyright. As my spring colors were black and me, couldn't you see? That I had to go. And that's Steph singing. I wonder if it's the, the voice actress, uh, what is it, uh, Katie Benz, Benz singing? Actually, a lot of actors uh, do sing, so I'm sure it is her, right? It's pretty cool. Uh, dear Steph, thank you so much for the delightful vintage. I think it's the loveliest it's thing. This would happen Well, not now this But some sepia pain I'm not just running I'm reacting That's why you can't see That I must remain It's a long way from home And I'm left in the mountain The silver dragon I wonder what was uh, wrong with Mikey, like what what he was sick with, because that money was for his hospital bills in the other game, and we never figured out. We never figured out what it was. I don't. That doesn't mention it in this game either. You should know. Pray that wasn't copyright. Might have been. I don't know. Better not shut our volume or, or cut our volume off. This hurts me so much to do. Okay. That was a cute little song, wasn't it? It was sweet. My but... little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Aww. Maybe I should share it with someone. Mikey, send it to Mikey. Play it on the radio. Keep it for myself. Um, send it to Mikey. Cause he'll know what it's really about, right? Are we gonna get to see him? My best thrift shop find. Ugly as sin, comfy as hell, and probably bed bug free. I love that. Look at it. It's like you get to sit on a podium, like overlooking the rest of the room. 
that'd be cool. Damn, Ike. Thought you Why might did you be. turn into such a grown up? How much we have, how far we've grown. <laughs> Mikey. I wonder what, hmm, yeah, what was he sick with? We never found out. Sorry, Riley, but that horse had to go. Oh no, not our horse! <laughs> Thank you so much for the delightful vintage carousel horse. I think it's just the loveliest thing. Riley says it's creepy and keeps uh, ta uh, taking it out of the shop, but we'll see uh, which of us has the laugh la last laugh, Eleanor. Oh, okay, so she gave her the carousel shop for the, the, um, for the uh, flower shop. Dang, Dang it, Ryan. I tried to help you, bro. Operation Get Ryan Laid. <laughs> uh, right, Ryan, a nice, non-threatening uh, smolder bio. Outdoorsy hug seeks partner in crime. Uh, don't know about mentioning crime. Amateur... Uh, be my lovebird. Oh, is it, or... Is that a person who's interested in birds? Uh, love birds are actually noisy, aggressive, etc. Maybe be my uh, cockatiel. If you're looking for a Colorado uh, himbo with a heart of gold, look no further. What's a himbo? Um, heterosexual, I so other heterosexual for heterosexual activities. Okay, now you're not even trying. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing this back for next year. Ooh. Very invaluable. Turns out every record I had on hold for myself was the perfect holiday gift for one of my friends. Oh. Violet borrowed this for me on our second date. Well, got it back now, don't I? Oh, she sent it back. Oh. Firewalk! It's the concert. Misty looks a little creepy. But once you get to know her, she's actually armless. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's play some. Gotta add the latest ball. game. Um Tally. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. Alright, let's play. Replay the game. We get to hear Look, Gabe. your fundamentals are solid, but your trash talk needs some serious improvement. As of this moment, you are enrolled in Professor Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. Damn, yeah, man, no. that sounds prestigious. Okay, Professor, teach me. Lesson one. No. You gotta get in your opponent's head. Be ruthless. Use their insecurities against them. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, call him out on his emo face. On his spelling. Ah! <laughs> Distractions. Um, emo face. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about that pic Char showed me of your scene phase. No. Oh, fuck no. you. Was it hard to play foosball with your hot topic bangs obscuring your line of sight? It was the mid-2000s, okay? Okay, let's move on to lesson two. Oh, good. Oh, good. You gotta flex your bragging muscles. Really just blast a guitar solo right in their stupid face, you know? Um. Speaking of guitar solos. Oh, you know a lot about blasting guitar solos, do you, Gabe? I know my way around a guitar. <laughs> Sure you do, bud. Hey, how many instruments do you play? You want to jam after this? Show me your skills. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't it's you? Head to head. Lesson three. Gonna hit it into my own. When all else fails, schoolyard insults are your best friends. And, uh, eek. I'm Gabe. When all else fails... 
Oh, yeah? Well, I'm Steph. I wish I wasn't so bad at foosball, gay stuff, tabletop games. What the hell? I'm Gabe. <laughs> Dad joke. <laughs> Dad joke. Sudden and unexpected insight into your most private thoughts and feelings. Did I no. tell you I was a juvie? Oh, so <laughs> close. No, Thank you so much was. for seeking an education at Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. No. You just got school. Damn it. I was so sure I had you that time. Oh, Steph. Sweet, naive Steph. Sweet, pure, optimistic, bad at foosball hey. Steph. Dude, knock it off. <laughs> Closing out the year the same way I started it. How did we meet Gabe? Did we learn about that? What the hell is Ducky up to? We're gunning for Charlie Brown with this level of decor. I always have a little tree. Like, little, little tree. Okay. Tomorrow, I'm finally clearing this off. New year, new bulletins. The death metal holiday album I put out isn't getting much play. And I have no idea why. Envelope. Is that from Gabe? Never resented snow until it became my job to clear it. So, he's like... Killing his own people? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, look at that in a second. We'll look at what Gabe. How does Gabe's. Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? Maybe time travel. And that, um, what is it? The, the, the bull, uh, the mixer that he did, uh, Charlotte and I were not built for that meditation class. Felt like termites were chewing up my fucking legs. Was this worth 1999? Yes. Was it shirtless Santa? I wish I would zoom in. <laughs> I want to see. Silly. Let's see. If someone told me when I started this random ass job that we'd get popular enough to sell merch, I would have punched them in the foot. Hope I've done the old place proud. Damn. We had a good time together that day. Oh, we finally got to see Izzy. Right? Is that Izzy? Drugstore makeup. That has to be Izzy, right? I think, right? Maybe not. Managed to do three late night practice sessions this week. It's actually kind of nice playing in an empty store. Nice. She's finally playing again. She's feeling better. Let's see what Gabe has for us. Or should we? Let's look at our phone. Ooh. Do you mean? Betsy. <laughs> Not like other girls. So. So. Let's see. That's as good a sign as any. No Time to chance. say goodbye to this app. Oh, are we dating Fiona now? Because we never responded. 
<laughs> I forgot to look at the phone again after. Okay. Um. No, Violet? Is that who we're dating? We're dating Violet. Who are we dating? I don't know. Um, oh yeah, did we have that conversation with Violet, right? Well, we ended up going and seeing her again, right? Oh no, I've been thinking about how things ended. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Maybe us uh, not responding had some effect on that. Oh, I wish it would like scroll up to where we're supposed to be. I don't know where we left off. Ugh. Okay. Ducky. Okay, please, right. Da -da, delicious. What happened? Um. Okay, so. Hey, Alicia, hey, how are you? Good. You know, oh, so we did those her. Um, yeah, not bad invited. Of course you did. I was thinking about how things ended. Kind of sucked, huh? Yeah. Could have been way worse. Oh, well, yeah, I guess so. I just started seeing someone new. I'm going, it's going really well. I like her so much. But, I don't know, you had so much, we had so much fun. Miss you, too. Uh, wanna be bros? Uh, what kind of dyke would I be if my uh, friend group wasn't primarily composed of exes? Valid point. Congrats, by the way. You deserve to be happy. How How is that all going for you? Um, well, well, what state, what, what dating? I think I'm taking myself off the market, honestly, at least for now. That might end up being really good for you. I'll definitely get more done if I'm not staring at this app all the damn time. It's not, that's for sure. Hey, I'm glad we're bros. Me too. My cat! We're talking about cat. Ugh, one cat went back in the, in the underneath. I'm so sad. It's like the most cons uh, positive, cheerful ever. Sounds intolerable. How did you come? <laughs> mm. Dinosaur cat. Oh, we can text back. Hold on. Let's see what Rita has to say. Mm. Mm, good. Except. Thanks, apology accepted. So it changed. Uh, not a lot at first. Kept being a bitch until I realized that it wasn't making me feel any better. And then I found a therapist. Good for you. About time. <laughs> 
So, are you seeing anybody right now? Not interested. <laughs> Nobody special. Not at the moment, but I'm kind of okay with that, which is weird. Not that long ago I would have not been okay with that. Good for you. Good luck out there, Steph. You too, Rita. Uh, Bobbles, the one that got away. <laughs> the bot that got away. You're so cute. <laughs> oh no. Well, who are we going to write back to? Fiona, right? No, not Fiona. Violet? Oh my god. There's so many girls in our DMs. Hold on. Um, get my dad to love me. <laughs> What's your biggest resolution? <laughs> Violet, I swear right now, on oh, a stack of Bibles, by the time next year, Valkyrie will love me. Oof, I'm sure you don't want... Hold on. I'm sure you don't want... <laughs> it's going too fast. Valkyrie, we didn't get to see her. Um, a little bit more attainable. Are you sorry? I laughed too loud. Are you sure? Um, well, if, are you sure you don't want to pick something a little bit more attainable? Uh, not this time. Dreaming big. Anyway, how about you? Oh, dude, I have so many. First of all, gotta get out of Telly. Um, not sure how far out of Telly, but I am ready for a taste of city life next want to do a gallery show, let people see my video collages, and maybe a little less intense about my crushes, you can do it. I'll try to let, I tr I'll try not to let you down. Oh hey, there's a house um, in uh, Boulder on the 12th. Um, do you want to come? I'll, um, do I get to meet your new chick, uh, Dano? Then hell yeah. D <laughs> okay, yeah. You are. Oh god. I think that's it, right? I don't think we can write to anybody else. Sleep radio show. Oh! Hold on. I'll sleep radio check in front door. If bubbles. We can't write to bubbles anymore. Okay, let's check the front door. Hmm. Suspicious. Open. Gabe, what did you give us? A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. Steph. Wait, what? Your friends put together a surprise scavenger hunt? And this is the first clue. You must have uh, seriously great friends. Steph is witty, bold, and fun, but she also, um, she is also a great listener. We're starting off easy. Don't look too far. So, great listener. Is that the, the headset? 